If you are tired of picking up stationery all around the house, watch on as I show you how to organize your kids' stationery and art supplies to encourage creativity and independence in your children. Hi everyone, I'm Jacinth, a parenting coach and ex-school teacher. If this is your first time watching my video, don't forget to click the subscribe button because I'll be sharing more positive parenting tips as well as play-based learning ideas to inspire you and help you with your children. In this video, I'm going to show you a peek into my art cart. I am a firm believer in preparing the environment for children to thrive and this is the place that my kids hang out most, our playroom and I'm going to show you how we organize our art uh, supplies and stationery simply because I'm really tired of picking up all these pencils, erasers and crayons from all around the house. So by preparing this art card, I'm teaching my kids to be responsible for their own belongings as well as give them a place to return their stationery and this is how we set children up for success. This art card that you see here has evolved over the years as my kids grow up the stuff on the art card has changed so when they were younger the stuff on it are much uh, simpler and more age appropriate like I won't be putting a pair of scissors here and my crayons that I give them will be shorter so that they can grip better so I'm just going to show you what is in our art card at this current moment. My kids are 8 years old and 6 years old this year and over the years they have had the training from me to know where to look for their stationery and they know where to return the stationery after they are done using. In our current home, we have a little bit more space so I'm separating all the paint and brushes in another uh, area in the balcony which we'll probably leave it for another video later on but just for today we're going to talk about stationery, some tinkering materials and as well as some of the materials that I use when I do home learning with my kids if you want to find out more about creating a prepared environment for your kids, I have a blog post on 7 Playroom Essentials to Raise Creative and Independent Learners and in there I actually have a list of essential arts supplies. If you are a first time parent or you are moving to a new place and you want to create this environment to help your children to thrive and be engaged in the activities and also you know make sure that it's tidy and less cluttered go check out their blog post and download that pdf on the essential art supplies without further ado let's start organizing the art cut i use the ikea rascock trolley to store our art essentials and stationery simply because it is of the right height for the children and of the right size so not too big but not too small that we can't store much stuff as well as it's very portable. Sometimes we'll do our home learning or homework or art and craft outside in the living room or even in the balcony. So this trolley is perfect because it's on wheels and we can just roll the entire art supplies there. And when we're done, we'll just roll it back into the playroom. Now I'm going to pack the trolley and at the same time show you what we have on the trolley. We'll start with the top level. On the top level of the art trolley, I will place the stationery and art materials that they use the most often. I use these plant pots from IKEA. I've added the link in the description below. They just cost 90 cents, very affordable and of a good size. The reason why I use these pots is to make sure that the kids know that there's a home for a different type of stationery and they can return it after they have used. So this helps to create this sense of independence in them. They don't have to keep asking me where to return or where to look for the stationery. In this pot, I put in the paint sticks. If you haven't heard of paint sticks, they are like lipsticks, except that they are used for art. I highly recommend this for your little ones who like to paint big areas and it dries very easily and it's very satisfying for the children to see their artwork and masterpiece uh, filled with colours that they like. So this is from Daiso, I think 5 or 6 sticks for just $2. Very affordable, highly recommend you get it although it gets out of stock really quickly. In this next pot, you can see the markers. So this is where we store 
all the markers and highlighter okay you can see that there's a color pencil here so i'm not saying that you know when you have these pots the kids will know how to put them back accurately know that they are still children and they take time so i will guide them and ask them so where do we put this pet color pencil and they will know that they have to put it in the pot for color pencils here we have a pot for scissors and glue so there's the liquid glue as well as the glue stick right the other pot is for pencils pen ruler and the eraser there will still be limited space so in the end i use these paper cups to store the smaller art supplies like the crayons and the chalk markers on the first level, I have a scotch tape that they can use So I don't recommend this for your little ones because of the sharp edge here But if your kids are older, you can teach them to be independent by retrieving their own scotch tape And I have these two little um, lifesavers here So I'm just going to show you This is an electronic sharpener And this is little vacuum cleaner for all the eraser dust Let me show you how it works I bought this battery operated sharpener for my kids because I want them to sharpen their own pencils but if you think that this is the lazy way of sharpening feel free to give them the traditional kind of sharpeners but if you are keen I'll just show you how it works so there are just two sections here one for the normal pencils and one for the chunkier kind of color pencils um, let me just show you with a demonstration so for example, this is a color pencil that's blunt and what you do is to insert it into this hole over here. Another of my favorite gadget is this little vacuum cleaner. So it helps to suck up the eraser dust and I love it that it's small for the kids and they can do it on their own. So no more having eraser dust on the desk, on the floor. They are really excited to use this to clean up. They're very eager to clean up. So you just have to put the battery in, switch it on, and watch the magic. That's it. Speaking about cleaning up, I hang this little dust pan here with the hook because I want the kids to know um, how to clean up on their own with the dustpan without having me to do it for them. Other than the plant pots, I also use these containers from the kitchen section of IKEA to store more stationery. I love it that there's a little hook at the back here so we can just hook it onto the side of the trolley and doesn't occupy too much space in the trolley itself. So we have one for the whiteboard markers. We have one for the stickers and notepads. This purple bin has been with us for a long time so they know that they have to throw all their tapes or little bits of papers into the bin and this trains them to learn to clean up and set them up for success because they know exactly where to throw the rubbish and eventually to empty it into the bigger bin in the bathroom. At the second level, we have the less commonly used items here we have a box of dot markers that the kids use for their art and crafts. Here we have a cup of popsicle sticks. I have some chalk this here for their home learning and drawing. A container of washi tapes as well as a tape dispenser so that it's easier for them to use the washi tapes for their decorations, design and all their other creations. In this basket, we have all the stationery. Let me just show you what's inside. First, we have some tape. So this is the painter tape, double-sided tape. I have blue tag for them. So if they want to stick anything up on their walls or use it for their art, they can just use the blue tag from here. We have some cutters like the hole puncher, this shape cutter. So they can just try out and design, do anything they like with the cutter by punching a hole. So they can either use you know, the circle or just use it as a design on their art piece. I also have another smaller cutter. So this is for a shape of a square. Next, we have stapler, stapler bullet so that they know how to refill it on their own. We have some stems for them. So these are the ones that I used when I was teaching. 
can just stamp. I also have a correction tape here, stamped from the Timely Rain. So we use it for their writing. So we can just draw a line. Let's say, hello, H E L L O. At the bottom of the art card, we'll put the stuff that we use for home learning activities. So these are whiteboards and clipboards. There are two containers here for throwing dice and for storing anything that they want. Here we have the magnets as well as sharpie markers. I make sure that they don't mix the sharpie markers together with their other markers. We have this paper cutter here. This is recommended by a friend. It's from Daiso so the kids can just cut papers. In this basket, I store some of the other learning resources like this ink pad, alphabet stamps, a sand timer, as well as this microscope where the kids can observe any little insects. There you have it. This is our art card. Know that there are many ways to set it up and you should do it your way. So it really depends on the ages of your children, what are some of the age-appropriate materials that you want to set up, and of course the space that you have in your home. Some parents put up recycled papers, colouring papers, construction papers, or even paints here. I don't put it here because we have it elsewhere. But if there is anything else that you want to find out more about, like how to set up certain stuff in the playroom, feel free to comment below and I'll do my very best to provide the resources to help you. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to like it if it's something that you find enjoyable and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell so that you will be alerted when I send out more videos. That's all I have. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.